Hello, my name is John. Call sign is KA1TDQ. And I would like to show you my single FET Class E transmitter for 40 meters. Here it is right here. The uh, source signal comes from a DDS VFO right here. I got off of eBay. And that uh, I use a sine wave coming out of that VFO and it goes to this buffer right here that squares up the wave. And I use the DC offset of the VFO to vary the duty cycle. And about out of this chip comes about a 40% duty cycle going into the IXDD614 MOSFET driver chip right here in the back. Uh, that, uh, that drives a single MOSFET right here. It's an FQA 11N90. And this is the drain choke right here. It supplies 48 volts through, through this shunt. This measures drain current, so I can see how much current is being drawn. And this doorknob capacitor right here is the shunt capacitor for the FET. I think I used, uh, what did I use? 150 picos, I think. So, uh, the output of the FET goes to this series tuned network for 40 meters. And this is the loading capacitor right here. I put a vernier drive on the loading capacitor so uh, I could fine tune it and it wouldn't move at all once I, once I got it to the adjustment I wanted. So let's take it for a spin. It puts out 50 watts carrier and uh, around 200 watts peak. So let me turn this on. And I've got the watt meter over here, if you can see that. So we're on the 200 watt scale. There's 50 watts carrier. And I'll push it over to PEP and speak into the microphone. This is KA1TDQ, Kilo Alpha 1, Tango, Delta Queen, testing. So that's a little over 200 watts peak. I put a negative peak limiter in the modulator just so that uh, if I went over 100% modulation, it wouldn't cause negative peaks. And here's the modulator sitting over on the floor. This used to be a single tube transmitter I built back in Massachusetts, but now I, uh, I gutted it and uh, put a new chassis on it and, uh, and uh, now it purposes as my Class E modulator. So I have a uh, 50 volt to 120 volt, 120 volt transformer serving as the quote modulation transformer. And this is the Heising circuit. It uses two series Hammond chokes and a capacitor. This is the negative peak limiter right here. It's a three diode keep alive circuit. And this is the voltage output that goes to the drain, the plus and minus modulated with audio. And the audio amp, if you can see it in this mesh of wires, it's just a regular car audio amplifier. Nothing special, just 8 ohm output. So there you have it. Thank you very much.